r slash ask reddit what's something that's clearly overpriced yet people still buy printer ink two years ago i bought a color laser printer instead 750 pages later my starter black toner is about half and the colors are about one stroke three gone well worth the high price tag to replace the toners edit since i've had quite a few ask it's a brother l3210 cw i found mine on sale before the world went to hell for sub 200 dollars now they are 100 dollars to 200 dollars more but still worth it i got a 600 dollars printer for free doesn't have toner cartridges in it not really sure what to do with it considering spending 400 dollars on proprietary toner sounds like a bad time diamonds loved the hard sell at a jeweler's when i was shopping for my wife's engagement ring yep there are some occlusions and stuff but consider that no one is gonna look at it closer than you are right now well she's a geologist so if anything she's gonna look at even harder than i am right now dot eta yeah yeah inclusion's fine me culpa i don't care i'm the cyber guy not the rock hound E.T. also a, eh? why does anyone think they can second guess what she likes? We're traditional and went with a traditional rock. If that's a problem for you, I don't care about that either. Nobody is even going to look that close is a risky pitch for someone in the business of selling pebbles for the price of a used car. Clothes. I was at a factory in Bangladesh once where they were making products for a well-known brand. The factory owner handed me a top and said take it, it'll be worth loads by the time you get home. Sure enough, when I got home, the same design top was being sold for about £60 to £70. It cost them about a quid to manufacture. The problem isn't how much we pay for clothes in Europe NA, the problem is that none of that money is going to the workers. What's shocking is how little even goes their way. The factory I was in was up to standard. But even then the equipment was outdated. The manufacturing techniques were out of date. The facilities were old. It looked like all the money was go to the owner. Look up Sohil Rada and Rada Plaza for just how ugly things get. College textbooks. I am very proud of the fact that I have never assigned a mandatory textbook. Third year teaching college. God bless you for that. One of my teachers saved 300 US dollars on a book by writing his own actually. Funerals give my body to science and take a vacation instead eater. I figured this is a good a time as ever to remind everyone to make your wishes known for how you'd like your death to be handled. I think today it's such a taboo subject to talk about. Something that people would rather avoid. But it doesn't need to be. Research your options. See what's out there and let your family know. Put things into place ahead of time to ensure your body is handled however you'd like it to be. No matter what you'd like to happen. Even if you want a traditional funeral, there's cheaper options than buying that 5k coffin from the funeral home. Also adding second choices are being suggested a lot when it comes to scientific donations and yes, this too. The biggest thing is to have a frank and honest conversation with your family or whoever would be left to make these kinds of arrangements. End the taboo of talking about death and funerals ahead of time so plans can already be in place. Make a will. Make a living will. Healthcare proxy. Make your wishes known and figure out your assets ahead of time. Loving the ideas and knowing how many people want to return to the earth. You can also be a firework if you wanted to. Just throw me in the trash. My wife hates me making this joke. Some context. I have stage IV colon cancer and it's pretty bad. Like, I probably won't see 50. I'm turning 40 this October. I think I have maybe 5 more years. But she's still in the denial stage of grief and thinks there's a magic cure we'll find. She's also prone to bouts of extreme depression. Like, sleep 48 straight hours level depression. She did agree to let me have a funeral roast with my friends and family this April when we go back to NV. On our Facebook page for it, I wrote we'll get the funeral out of the way now so you all don't have to worry about taking time off when I really die. Then you can just throw me in the trash. She and several of my friends thought it was in poor taste. The rest of my friends thought it was hilarious. Bottled water. Especially, the health fad bottled water like alkaline water or smart water. I like my alkaline water with lots of lemon. Flowers on Mother's Day and Valentine's Day. I agree with you. My mother, however, would like a word. 
I buy my mom seeds. It's a fun hobby for her. It has way more variety. It can be a thing to do together if I'm home. And it's dirt cheap. Plus, my mom sends me pictures like this is how our plants are doing. Which is cute. Right now, cars, at least in my area, brand new cars are few and far between. And it's not unusual to see used cars with prices 10k to 12k above what the price was a year and a half ago. It's insane. My newish car is somehow worth more now than when we bought it 3 years ago, make it make sense. I bought my car from Mazda in 2020, they phoned me 12 months later and offered to buy it back for what I bought it for new. They then phoned another few months later and offered to stick another few grand on top. Graphics cards. The recent state of the GPU market has shown me how people don't give a duck about parting ways with their money lol. Actually this is why my Ryzen 5900 is to put up with a 1066GB. As long as it works I will not buy a new one in this market. Edit. One of us. One of us. I thank the 1060 crew, and similar mole people, for doubling my Karma XD. Hello 1060 gang. Popcorn at the movies. So I found out recently from someone who used to work for a large cinema company that the reason concessions are so expensive at the theater is because the movie studios take about 80% of the sales for each ticket. It's part of the contract the theater signs to get big name films in their business. But that also means in order to turn a profit, they have to charge out the ass for food and drinks. Yep, movie theaters don't make money selling movie tickets. Just like gas stations don't make money selling gas. Adobe Creative Cloud though rather that buying it's a bullshit subscription. But they got a monopoly on programs that I have to eat that 600 year contract. Every time I check their catalog there is like 3 new programs. I watched a YouTube video that explained what 50 of the Adobe programs are used for. I was surprised that almost all of them had a specific, applicable use case. Granted, some were really niche but still. I really thought Adobe was out here bloating themselves with useless duplicate softwares until then lol. Anything at Disneyland, or other themes parks, or airports, PDX, Portland, requires all vendors to charge the same prices in the airport that they charge in town. Which works because the airport awards restaurant concessions to existing Portland restaurants. It's great. Literally everything right now edit, holy shit. Thanks for the gold. Breathing is still free. For now. Insulin or other life necessary drugs. Edit. To all my American friends. I'm sure the ones that are affected are familiar with Mark Cuban's pharmacy company and the great work they do. But for the ones that don't know. Mark Cuban. Billionaire stud. Started a company that offers meds for cents on the dollar compared to the parasitic competition. He even came onto a popular subreddit last year and explained to retail investors how predatory hedge funds operate to bankrupt things like cancer research companies for a quick buck. It would make your blood boil. There is still much change to be made. But it's encouraging to know it is, in fact, happening. Laughs in UK. Dies. From diabetes because poor. In US. Wedding anything, call it anything but a wedding and suddenly the venue the food the everything, is like half off the wedding price, it's insane, just buy white stuff and skip wedding stores too, it's all insanely marked up, also do your bridesmaids a favor maybe and schedule the wedding after prom season and woo cheap as hell bridesmaid gowns everywhere, also ridiculous at bridal store, ugh, I hate when my wife is a bridesmaid in a wedding, because then we have to go out and spend money on a dress and alterations. For her to wear it one night. I never understood this why not just give a color and say go get something off the rack in this color that you'll like and hopefully wear again. I didn't even want my groomsmen or ushers wasting money renting tuxes I just told them to wear a black suit and gave them all the same ties. You think 30 years later anybody notices that the groomsmen weren't in identical suits? Focus on what really matters people. Have a party with your friends and family and let everyone have a great time they'll remember forever. And for duck's sake pay for everyone's liquor. Every single piece of real estate right now. Homes in my neighborhood were selling for around 500k in the 20th of January 20. They're now selling in the high 800s. I just can't wrap my head around a 70 plus percent increase in 2 years. 
My heart goes out to anyone who is trying to buy a home right now, especially if they're first time buyers. Parents bought a house for 100k in 2015. It's now worth around 275k. That's insane to me. Meanwhile the house they bought at the height of the previous shitstorm in 2007 just sold recently for almost 100% more than they bought it for then. Just take that in for a second. The house they bought at the formerly worst time there was to buy a house. Just sold a few months ago for almost twice as much as they bought it for back then. Open bracket. With maybe 10k worth of work done. We ducked. Two years ago. I was one of those people who were like mark my words. The people buying houses now will regret their purchase within a year or two. We've all seen this before. And we know how it ends. Now. I'm not so sure. Branded medicines 30% minus 90% more than generic medicines. I've never had a single doctor who prescribed branded medicine when there's a generic version of it. <laughs> NFTs. Why are you paying hundreds for a ducking JPEG? Edit. Please stop explaining why NFTs aren't stupid to me in the replies. I figured by my comment that it was obvious I don't give a duck. Get a life. You're not even paying for a JPEG. You're paying for an encrypted number which is just a receipt that say you own a JPEG. It's like paying to name a star. Or buying land on the moon. You don't even own the JPEG in the blockchain. Just a link to the JPEG. The host of the image could replace it with a picture of a horse dong and now you own a horse dong pic. K-Cups. The difference in price slash 100 grams between them and a regular bag of pre-ground coffee is absolutely insane. You can buy reusable K-Cups on Amazon made of food grade silicone plastic and just scoop regular oil coffee in M. In this path lies pain. I was fine with drinking cup garbage coffee. Coffee was utilitarian for me. But I got a reusable cup to save money and waste. Found out it tasted better with fresh ground. Started trying local beans. Got a super grinder that makes it powder. Then I had to upgrade to an automated pour over machine because Keurig isn't built for fine grinds. Then to flare hand pressed. Then to flare 58. Now I'm a total snob and can't drink anything that's not onyx beans from my own home technique and all other coffee tastes like ashes and sadness. I've gone from a cheap Keurig with maybe $10 every 2 weeks on cups, to spending 3 grand over the last 2 years on coffee and accessories, and now have a $60 month on X bean habit. You've all been warned. Dodd Dash. The prices are more expensive on the app, then once you add a service fee, taxes, and a tip it ends up being $10.20 more than if you had just gone in person. Then by the time it gets to you it's cold and the order is almost always wrong anyways. I really don't understand how people can afford to use those delivery apps as much as they do. Some people are using them multiple times a week. I know someone who has food door dashed multiple times a week and usually spends about $300 to $400 a week. You could get a fridge full of food and multiple meals for that kind of money. Anything with an Apple logo on it. Sent from my iPhone. Yep sent from my iPhone. We the sheeple sent from my iPhone. Diamonds. They're literally a scam. A diamond company did a fantastic job brainwashing people into associating diamonds with love and implying. False. Scarcity for shiny rocks. I want a ruby wedding ring and my future mill won't stop arguing with me that it isn't traditional and doesn't count. Duck that. I'm getting my ruby. My cousin has a ruby wedding ring and it's gorgeous. Besides, look at Princess Diana and her sapphire that Kate now wears. Rent. Is. 2. Weddings. Edit. I managed a very cheap wedding when I was 20. Less than $1000. Second hand dress. High school photography student. Venue through a church connection. Carry and dinner. Etc. We've been married for nearly 10 years now and just welcomed our first child into our little family. Smiling face with hearts. I'm getting married in a few weeks. And my soon to be wife is Adam and she cannot get cheaper than 5000 Australian dollars on flowers. I just do not understand how that is a thing. The thing that annoys me is in a week's time people won't even care or remember the flowers. Wedding business is an absolute crookfest edit. 
thanks for sharing your stories everyone. I appreciate it. Feels good to get some of my concerns off my chest in the process update. I've managed to convince my partner to cut down to $2,700 so done well. Florals were painfully expensive when I was looking. So much so. I decided to just do fake flowers instead to save money and also resell them later. PS5s and Xbox Series X's from scalpers. They're so annoying. Internet. At least in the US it's artificially overpriced. LOL I'm paying 115 Canadian dollars. 90 US dollars. For 150 Mbps down and 5 Mbps up. There's 3 big telecoms here in Canada. Bell. Rogers and Telus. They have monopoly on our telecom so there's essentially no competition. We have others but they just use the big 3 lines. If I personally want 1 gig I'm paying 175 Canadian dollars it. So I'll trade ya. Edit. Alright gotta throw this in here. To anyone in a rural setting just outside a town or city. I get it you'll get railed harder. It's the same up here. The more rural you are or away from a town or city you either get very little for a high price or nothing. It's the same between Canada and America. Aussies you'll win on the being railed. You need to upload panel vids of your telecoms doing you dirty on the hub. Edit 2. Alright us Canadians and Americans need to go beach slap these politicians and greedy telecoms. Now I'm just feeling sad for us all. Starbucks. So like. I 90% agree. I travel a lot for work. Like a lot lot. Sure. I could go on Google and research what the good coffee in town is. I could ask the hotel front desk or even just wander into a random shop. The variance in that experience is high. I've had some 9. 5 stroke 10 cups. But I've also had some 1 out of 10 cups. To me the brilliance of Starbucks is that it's simply 7 stroke 10. That's it. At its absolute best. It's still a 7. At its absolute worst it's a 7. When I buy Starbucks I'm paying for the certainty of mediocrity which in times of immense turmoil is honestly a relief. Or maybe this is a reflection of my neurodiversity. No. I'm actually pretty sure that's how chain restaurants stay in business in exotic locations. There are dozens of amazing local restaurants. But Applebee's or Chili's is safe and everyone is tired. So Olive Garden it is. Being alive. Right now. Pretty much anything having to do with the wedding industry is exorbitantly expensive. I couldn't believe the prices when being quoted for the venue. Cake. Photographer. The church. Dresses and tuxedos. The rings. The ducking props. Etc. Ducking absurd that people are willing to go into massive debt for a wedding. Beef jerky. I would buy some more often if it wasn't so expensive eggs. Disneyland tickets. They keep going up and the parks are always crowded. Babies. You can get them for free with a little bit of poor judgment. Basic feminine hygiene products it's bad enough that they feel uncomfortable but it would help to make it cheaper. Alcohol at restaurants. I remember hearing a long time ago. 80s. That a guy took a bottle of booze. $30. From a work party hosted at a bar and the bar charged them $300 for it. Because that's what they could have charged. We all thought that was stupid. Idiotic and nearly a crime. Now Dumbasses post on Insta bragging about getting bottle service and being charged $400 for a bottle of cheap liquor. At least have the bartender mix it for you. Designer clothes. I visited Milan a few years ago and visited the Armani store there. I thought it would be nice to buy something from the genuine Armani store. I found a plain black t-shirt with no logo or embroidery and they wanted 1100 euros for it. 3500 euros for a pair of shoes. A staff member saw us looking around and said you want something nice from here. I have these scarves. They were basically tissue paper and they wanted 300 euros for it. It seems a bit strange. Emporio Armani plain shirts are 50 60 dollars and Giorgio Armani ones are 150 250 dollars. Still very high but not that high. Real estate. Everything to do with real estate. Beats by Dre are overpriced trash. 
Most of their annual budget goes to advertising rather than R&D. They even put weights in the headphones so they feel like they have more hardware in them than they really do. Edit. Apparently some of their models have gotten much better since the Apple acquisition. That doesn't change anything for me considering Apple deserves to be in the discussion as well. While they make good stuff, I think we can all agree the price markup is one of the biggest in tech. Pets. Just go to a shelter and grab a fluffball for a reasonable cost. I did that in December. Best fluffball ever. HTTPS colon slash slash imgur comma tl3 zyaz. Cigarettes. Supermarket herb spices which are sold in small jars or tubes. It is ridiculous when you start calculating price per kilo. Let's take dried basil for example. 11 grams glass jar around 2.09 euros. 2. 31 dollars. Price per kg 190 euros. 00. 0 209. 60 dollars. Buy in bulk is way more cheaper. Most people won't go through the supermarket size before it goes stale. Trash bags. How can we pay so much for something that is meant to be thrown away? Buy the cheap ones. You'll find out why. Health insurance. Yay. America. Houses condos right now. Everywhere. Gillette razors. Get those single bladed safety ones and buy those for close to nothing. Gas. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.